Time management of geometry. Hey students, while writing an exam, you must consider your time. So let me explain you about time management for writing a geometry paper. In mathematics, part 2 comprises of geometry. Now let us have a look over time management of geometry paper. As I have told you earlier, the written paper is of 40 marks and the total time allotted for paper is 2 hours. Well, that is equal to 120 minutes, right? So, if you calculate, we have 3 minutes for every 1 mark, right? Thus, for a question of 5 marks, the time will be 15 minutes. For a question of 8 marks, the time will be 24 minutes. For a question of 9 marks, the time will be 27 minutes. And for a question of 10 marks, the time will be 30 minutes. In this way, in 120 minutes, you will be able to complete the paper only. But then what about checking the paper? In case of algebra, checking paper is very important. This helps you to correct the mistakes done while writing the paper in hurry. Also, don't forget, you need time to tie your supplements or stick the barcode. Hence, you have to spare some time, say about 15 minutes, from 2 hours. So, according to this, now you have only 105 minutes to write your paper, isn't it? Let us now see how to utilize these 105 minutes in writing paper. For question 1, which carries 5 marks, devote about 15 minutes. For question 2, which carries 8 marks, give about 20 minutes. For question 3, which carries 9 marks, I think you should give about 25 minutes. For question 4, which carries 8 marks, give about 20 minutes. For question 5, which carries 10 marks, give about 25 minutes. You know why? Well, this is a tricky question. So you really need to think while writing the answer. For that, you need to give some extra time. Once you're done with your paper, in the last 15 minutes, go through the paper thoroughly. Check whether you have attempted all the questions. The calculations done are correct or not? Question numbers are written correctly or not? So students, the order you should follow while checking your paper is A. Calculation based sums Check whether you've done calculations correctly or not. Check whether you've written final answers correctly or not. Also see whether units have been written or not? B. Proof based sums. Well, for proof based sums, what may go wrong is nothing but reasons. So check whether you've written all the reasons correctly or not. C. Construction based sums. For these, you have to check whether you've drawn the rough figure on right of page or not. Check whether the given measures and required notations have been mentioned or not. Once we've done all of these, we can come to know that maximum errors have been rectified. Moreover, if you practice at least three papers with time setting, I'm telling you, you'll be able to complete the paper as per decided time and will surely get time to check the paper as well. So, practicing paper is very important. I hope these instructions will help you score your best in your exams. So, 
all the best for your exam